Hello people, welcome to our channel. So today we are doing Inside Our Earth of Geography Class 7. In this chapter, you will get to know what all lies in the interior of the earth and what is earth made up of. You will also learn about different minerals, rocks and different layers of earth surfaces. So after reading the chapter, now get started with the exercise of this chapter. So the first question is, answer the following questions. First part, what are the three layers of earth? So your answer will be the three layers of earth are crust, the mantle and the core. The second question, what is a rock? Your answer is, a rock refers to a natural mass of mineral matters that makes up the earth's crust. Now the third, name three types of rock. The answer will be igneous, sedimentary, metamorphic rocks are the three types of rock. The fourth is, the how are the extrusive and intrusive rocks are formed? So your answer is, intrusive rocks are formed when the molten magma present inside the earth's interior comes out onto the earth's surface, cools down and becomes solid. When molten magma cools down and solidifies deep within the earth's crust, intrusive rocks are formed. Now the fifth part is, what do you mean by a rock cycle? The answer is, uh, the transformation of one type of rock into another under certain conditions in, and in a cyclic manner is referred to as the rock cycle. For example, igneous rock formed as a result of the solidification of molten, uh, molten magma may break down into small particles which may then be transported and deposited to form sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary and igneous rocks transform into the metamorphic rocks when subject to heat and pressure. These metamorphic rocks may themselves get broken down to form sedimentary rocks or they may melt under the great heat and pressure to form molten magma, which would then once again solidify to form igneous rocks. Now the sixth part is, what are the uses of rocks? So your answer are some of the uses of rocks are as follows for building roads, houses and buildings, B for making jewelries, C for cutting and drilling purposes, D the fossilized remain of plants and animals present in rock helps in scientific researches and E is the different minerals that make up different rocks are used as fuels, medicines, fertilizers and in various industries. Now the seventh part is what are the metamorphic rocks? So your answer is, metamorphic rocks are the rocks that are formed under the great heat and pressure. Igneous and sedimentary rocks, when subjected to heat and pressure, get transformed into metamorphic rocks. Now let's come to the second question. Tick the correct answer. First part, the rock which is made up of molten magma is A. Igneous, B. Sedimentary, C. Metamorphic. So your answer is A. Igneous. Second part, the innermost layer of earth is a crust, B core and C mantle. So your answer is B core. Third one, gold, petrol and coal are example of A rock, mineral and fossil. So your answer is B uh, minerals. Fourth one, rock which contains fossils are A sedimentary rock, B metamorphic rock, C igneous rock. So your answer will be A sedimentary rock. Now the last part is the thinnest layer of the earth is A crust, B mantle, C core. So your answer will be A crust. The third question is match the following. You can see the rest of the question here and your answer will be first the core. It will be connected to E which is innermost layer. Second is mineral. It will be connected to D has defined chemical compound. Third is rock. It will be connected to B used for roads and buildings. Then clay, it will be connected to F, which is changed into slate. So the fifth option is sihel, which will be connected to C, which is made up of silicon and aluminium. Now your fourth question, which is give reason. First is, we cannot go to the center of the earth. Answer will be, uh, the center of earth lying about 6000 km from the ocean floor is characterized by extremely high temperature and pressure. There is only molten magma at uh, earth's surface. Oxygen is absent from this region, such conditions do not permit the survival of any living organism. Thus, we cannot go to the center of the earth. Second part, the sedimentary rocks are formed from sediments. So your answer is, when big rocks break down into small fragments or sediments, 
the fragments are transported and deposited by factors like wind and water the loose sediments compress and harden over the year to form layers and layers of rock these rocks are known as sedimentary rocks so the third one is limestone is changed into marble so your answer is limestone is an example of a sedimentary rock when it is subjected to condition of extreme heat and pressure it gets converted into marble which is a metamorphic rock so your fifth question is for fun what are the minerals most commonly used in the following objects so the objects are right here in the screen your answer is the mineral used commonly used in kadhai is iron copper stainless steel and in ornaments gold and silver in lamp brass silver gold for hammer iron steel lead and brass for bell brass silver and gold for tawa pan iron steel and aluminium so these are the exercise of this chapter i hope you have noted down and if you have any doubt or any query do tell us in the comment section we'll definitely get back to you and yeah guys do not forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time we'll be coming up with the next chapter till then bye bye